Have you ever attended an elaborate fireworks display choreographed to music and other special effects? To achieve these awe-inspiring spectacles, experts in pyrotechnics use electric matches specifically designed to ignite fireworks safely, remotely, and with precise timing. An electric match is designed to initiate a pyrotechnic composition by means of a small electric current. The electric current is what heats a tiny wire in the match head called a bridge wire to a red-hot glow, much like the wire in a toaster. However, this wire is really thin, only about one one-thousandth of an inch in diameter, several times smaller than a human hair. Because the match head's bridge wire is so thin, the red-hot wire quickly burns up in the air to produce a tiny spark as demonstrated when we energize a bare match head. It is this hot bridge wire that ignites the primary composition, the most sensitive pyrotechnic composition in the electric match. There are only a few pyrotechnic compositions that can be initiated by the small energy produced by a bridge wire, and most contain lead components. The most popular commercial matches used by the pyrotechnic industry all contain lead-based primary compositions. Although effective, these lead compounds come at a high price. They are all highly sensitive to friction, heat, and impact, and require great caution in use. Additionally, conventional electric matches produce lead-contaminated smoke, hazardous when inhaled, and are of a special concern to technicians and audiences at indoor displays or in theme parks where pyrotechnic displays are daily events. Los Alamos scientists have developed a new primary composition that replaces the lead compounds with newly developed nanoscale superthermite materials. Also known as MIX, Short for metastable intermolecular composites, these thermites consist of metal and metal oxide reaction pairs. Our mixture is an aluminum molybdenum trioxide and is unique due to the minute size of the particles. Our thermite has a particle size as small as 40 nanometers, about a 100 to 1,000 times smaller than the particles used in conventional thermites and that has the effect of greatly increasing the reaction rate. But besides eliminating the need for lead-based compounds for the primary composition, we have found that the superthermite matches are less sensitive to accidental initiation by friction, impact, and heat. For example, conventional electric matches are notoriously sensitive to friction. A typical electric match with a lead-based primary composition will ignite just as if it were a kitchen match struck across a rough surface. Our super thermite matches, on the other hand, are insensitive to friction. In addition, our matches are more than twice as safe from impact by a falling weight. In our studies, we found that a one kilogram weight ignited conventional matches when dropped from heights of 9 to 23 centimeters. Our super thermite matches, containing our most sensitive formulation, withstood more than double the highest value, not going off until reaching heights of 56 centimeters. Our matches are even resistant to heat and will not ignite at temperatures below 300 degrees centigrade. We have seen conventional matches spontaneously ignite at temperatures between 160 and 245 degrees centigrade. Our super thermites produce so much heat they can easily ignite even the most difficult to light secondary composition. A secondary composition produces the sparks and fire to initiate the firework device, such as a black powder charge. Generally, the secondary is coated over the primary composition. In one test, a match with super thermite as the primary composition was able to easily ignite a secondary composition of pure aluminum powder, an impossible achievement using conventional electric matches. With superthermites, 
safer and better performing electric matches can be designed. Igniting fireworks is the principal application for electric matches, but they are also used in triggering explosives for the mining, demolition and defense industries, as well as in rocket motors and automobile airbags.